I saw a meme circulating recently which said something to the effect of um, you better start eating better and, and drinking more water because the doctors that are going through medical school right now are doing this, the, doing their, their, their work at home. So it says something effective because your doctor right now is cheating his way through online classes. Um, in order to get into Porsche school, he had to go through a series of tests. And one of them was a, uh, an, a test at home online. And it's all mechanic stuff. And he's very good at it. But he just, he just doesn't believe in himself as a test taker. So he got a couple of friends of his who were also in that program together. And they got together and they team took his test. And he did exceptionally well. Like, I'm sorry, they did exceptionally well on it. And I was asking, like, well, I hope, you know, some of those answers you didn't know, I hope you never come across those in the field because you won't know what, to, what, 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 what the answer is. And he felt terrible about it. And he asked me about it afterwards, which is what I find sometimes my friends will do. They'll, they'll ask me, yeah, hypothetically, you know, what would you say about a case like this? And then, they only, again, it's only worth asking afterwards, right? Because if you ask beforehand and you don't get the answer you want, then it's easy to, you know, to dismiss it. But, you know, I'm thinking about that. <laughs> I'm imagining someday, like, some guy driving a Porsche, and he's driving down the road and something on his car goes out because it wasn't properly fixed. And he crashes and he like kills a busload of orphans or something like that. And it's all because my friend didn't do his own online test. <laughs> and it's funny because sometimes what we're looking for is a way of getting out of something. We're not looking for a, a way to make things right, but we're looking for a way to get out of it. So yeah, those lies that we tell, that we keep digging and digging and digging, these are the lies that we, that we tell because we think that we need them in some way. So for example, maybe we think that we need to tell those lies um, about whether we were born in Florida or Wisconsin. Why? Because in some way that allows us to take control of, of our lives. Part of the problem with, with, with our lives is that we feel like we have no control over anything that, that's really going on. I mean, if you think about the, the ways in which, uh, the, the conditions under which you were born, none of you chose to be born into the families into which you were born. None of you chose to have the height that you have, or to look the way that you look, or to have the IQ that you have, or to have the, the friends around you, or the environment. There's a whole bunch of, of aspects of your life that they don't determine your life, but they certainly shape it in large ways. And yet we don't have any control over these things right here, which means that a large part of our life we don't have control over. We have to take this like bundle of attributes that we, that we were born into and born with, and then we have to kind of go forward with them. And some of them are things that, of course, many of us wouldn't choose. I mean, like, I wonder how many of you if, you, if you could choose to look differently, you would choose to look different. If you could choose to be in, born into a different family, if you, could be, if you could choose to be born a different height or social class or whatever, you know, many of us would, would, would choose a different life. Um, and of course, we're, we're imagining that it's going to turn out better than the life that we have right now. Now, there's no telling that if it's going to or not. Again, I mean, Perhaps your thing is that, you know, maybe you wish that you were born with more intelligence, but then you get to be so intelligent that you almost get, like, detached from people or, or arrogant, so you start making stupid decisions in your life. In other words, you, you can be too smart. You really can't be too wise, but you can be too smart. Maybe you're so smart that you think you're smarter than everybody else, and so you have difficulty now making friends, so your social life starts to suffer, and maybe in those conditions you sit there and go, Man, I wish I had more friends. Let me change this one aspect. But the thing is that with every little thing that you change up here, you're going to change something else. If I change this, then that's altered as well. Even if it's the things I'm happy with. Like maybe you're, maybe you're happy with the family that you have. But if you were born into a... Maybe you, you, know, you wish that you were born wealthier. But if you were wealthier, then your family, your parents wouldn't be around nearly as much. Because they'd be too busy working. So now you have to sacrifice that part, and that, that family thing, you would lose that. Every little thing in your life that you move, moves something else around. And so, all we can really do at that point is take the life that we have, take the life that we have and move forward with it. <clears throat> Sometimes an effort to lie about ourselves is an effort to take control of our lives, so that we can, so we can control, I guess even master, control or master, how it is that we're going to be perceived. See how it is that we're going to be perceived. In other words, if I come to you and tell you guys, um, oh yeah, I run marathons, I run marathons, then that, that, that shapes how it is that you guys are going to see me. If, um, you know, <laughs> if I tell you my birthday is one day or another, 
that's going to shape how you see. But having told you the story I just told you also shapes how it is that you guys are going to perceive me and see me. So these lies that we tell about ourselves allow us to take shape of our own lives in some way, and then that way we at least have some level of control. Now again, the strange thing is going to be, I think that we're going to find that oftentimes the more control that we try to take over our lives, the more this kind of stuff is going to happen where we change this and then this gets altered and it shapes how this happens and we become a completely different person. Although we're not really the, a different person in reality, we're a different person in how it is that we're perceived. That goes back to what she was saying earlier that, that we um, were, you know, there, there are these different variations of ourselves. And so which one it is that's going to manifest, I guess is going to be anyone's guess. So it's faithful and ironic that the lie that we need in order to live, however, is going to doom us to a life that's not really ours. Now, it's ours in the sense that we've taken control of it and that we own it and everything. In other words, I've, you know, I've, we, I've decided, um, I have a, why not, screw it. I have a good friend of mine, I think I, I may have mentioned him before. I've known him for, God, known him for 15, 16 years now. Uh, he's a Filipino dude, and all of a sudden, about, about six, seven years ago, he developed a British accent. Dude's never been to England before. <laughs> But all of a sudden, he starts talking to me with a British accent. And it's gotten better over the years, too. Um, and then all of a sudden, I, I, I've never called him out on it. I've never been like, dude, what's up with the accent all of a sudden? I've just been like, he wants to shape himself. He wants to shape himself. Um, but this is a guy now who's so far away from who he really is, and that he's built so many fictions up around him that if you ask him, about himself, he has no idea who he really is. Um, in a sense, he has an idea of who he is, kind of as like this, almost like ghostly shape of himself, but it's not who he really is. It's a reflection of who he, of who he is. It's this thing that he's made and created. And so it, it is an interesting question, by the way. If I were to ask you, who is he? I don't know how to answer that. Because this is the person who he was before he began inventing himself. This is the person who he is now that he has reinvented himself. This is the life that he's living. You know, the accent is now part of his, it's part of what he does now. It's not legitimate, but it is part of what he does. And there's a bunch of things like that. that um, They're part of, 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 of what he is, not really the thing at the core of what he says. Does, does this make sense? I know this makes sense. You know? It's like, it's, it's, I guess you almost think like you go to school and you're supposed to grow and develop in certain ways. He would probably see it that way. I took control of my own life development and grown in these ways. Problem though is that now, um, I'm one of the only people he talks to from when he was younger. Everybody else says I called him out and think it's creepy and weird that he uses this accent that's not real. I don't care. He can, whatever voice he wants to use, he can use it. It doesn't bother me. I'm pretty accepting of most of those kinds of things. Um, and I understand that the impulse to try to control who we are. But now again, he can't talk to friends from his childhood, so he's now he's completely cut off from, from all his old friends. So it does, it does cost him something. It's, it severs that. But that's going to be true about a lot of things in life. Like if you guys go to college and you get highly educated, you're not going to be able to relate to a lot of your old friends. You're not going to be able to relate to people you grew up with. You may not even be able to relate to your family in a lot of ways. Because they're gonna, you know, you're gonna be looking at some pretty far out issues, and they're gonna be, you know, laughing about stuff that you're gonna find to be, you know, basic and name. I don't know if that makes sense. So, hmm. questions, comments, concerns, complaints, criticisms, critiques.